Hi friends, in this video it is about quantitative aptitude shortcut methods, ratio and proportion. So this video I will explain around 25 to 30 important problems of various methods from ratio and proportion. We will see what is ratio. So ratio is comparing two quantities. So it's just a comparing two quantities. You now for example A is to B that is equals to A by B. So here important thing is the unit should be equal. If it is 3 meters to A is to 750 centimeters. So when the units are same only we need to compare. You now 3 meters 3 into 100 because every meter is 100 centimeters is to 750. 300 is to 750. So we can write in simplest form. 5, 6, 30, 15. Again 3 table, 3 2 is a 3 5 is a. So 2 is to 5 is the required ratio for 3 meters to 750 centimeters. Now proportion. Proportion is is this is the comparing of two ratios so ratio is the comparing of two quantities and when we compare two ratios that is come under proportion for example a is to b and c is to d two ratios i am comparing if the two ratios are equal then the product of the means is equal to product of the extremes that is a into d is equals to b into c. So this property will you apply in the problems. For example, if you take uh, 2 is to 3 is equals to 10 is to 15. Because ratio same. Then 3 into 10 is obviously equal to 2 into 15. So or 30 is equals to 30. So this is equal. Okay. Now based on this simple concept, I will explain around 30 important problems from this ratio and proportion including shortcut methods for any competitive exams which will come from ratio and proportions for quantitative aptitude. Let us see the first problem. A is to B is equals to 2 is to 3 and B is to C is 4 is to 5 then find the value of A is to B is to C so there is a shortcut method for this directly we can find the answer so let me explain only shortcut methods a is to B is 2 is to 3. A is to B and B is to C. Like this you write first. That is 2 is to 3. Because B is the common. Here B value is 3 in this. But here B value is 4. So because of it is different. We need to apply this method. And 4 is to 5. Just to keep a line. So the formula for A is to to B is to C is we just multiply A into B is to B square is to B into C <coughs> so let us see here cross multiplication type first 2 into 4 and 3 into 4 and 3 into 5 2 4 is a 2 into 4 is to 3 into 4 is to 3 into 5 so 8 is to 12 is to 15 so this is the ratio of a is to b is to c we can write in simplest form we can cancel with the common table so there is no common table to cut these three numbers at a time so 8 is to 12 is to 15 is the answer one second Next, we will see one more. Similar questions, let me explain uh, another one. X is to Y is equals to 3 is to 4. 
y is to z is equals to uh, for example 8 is to 9 then they are asking the question x is to z is equal to dash so y is the common even though we need to find out x is to y is to z account our shortcut method 3 is to 4 and 8 is to 9 so this is the x is to y is to z I'm changing the pin for understanding now 3 into 8 and straight multiply and this is these two multiplications 3 into 8 4 into 8 is to 4 into 9 because 4 and 8 are the y terms you should write downwards side uh, down by down now 8 3 is a 24 and 32 and this is 36 this is x is to y is to z but problem is only x is to z so this is an x and z so x is to z is 24 is to 36 we write in simplest form in cancellations 2 table 12 18 or 6 9 Again, 3, 2 is a 6, 3, 3 is a 9. So finally, 2 is to 3 is x is to z. So various problems we can solve. If they will give value, various uh, ratios x, y, y, z or a, b, b, c, p, q, q, r like this. Okay, now one more type is if they will mention three ratios at a time. For example, you see P is to Q. The problem is P is to Q is equals to 2 is to 3 and Q is to R is equals to 4 is to 5. Again, R is to S is equals to 6 is to 7. So here three ratios. We need to compare the three ratios. Then find the value of P is to Q is to R is to S is dash. So let me explain the similar shortcut method for this type of questions also. First you write in this order. 2 is to 3 see clearly then q is a common so down of 3 4 is to 5 next to r is to s that is uh, 6 is to 7 then you see which one numbers we need to multiply to get the p q r s directly p q r s ratio First, we need to multiply, let me give clarity, 2 into 4 into 6. And final is 3 into 5 into 7. 2 into 4 into 6 is 2. And I'll tell second and third. The last one is 3 into 5 into 7. So first 2 and last 2. Next middle one is the cross we need to multiply. That is 3, 4, 6. This is one type. 3, 5, 6. It's one type. 3 into 4 into 6. And 3 into 5 into 6. So just a triangle shade. So 2, 4, 6. First is straight. 2, 4, 6 is first part. And 3, 5, 6 is last. Middle 3, 4, 6. And 3, 5, 6. Then in this you can do cancellations which is in a common. So you can cancel common tables. Here. 3 1 3 3 1 3 
3 1 is 3 and 3 2 is 6. Same table we should cancel in all the numbers. Next 2 2 again here 5 and 7. These both are prime numbers so you could not cancel. No 2 4 is 8, 8 2 is 16. And 24, the remaining if you multiply 30 and 35. 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 35. This is you can do. Let me give clarity with one more sum. So another problem A is to B. Same three ratios I am taking now. 3 is to 5. <coughs> B is to C is 5 is to 6 C is to D <coughs> is equal to 6 is to 11 then A is to B is to C is to D 3 is to 5 down of this 5 is to 6 down of this 6 is to 11 first straight lines as I said earlier, take this 3 into 5 into 6. Straight these numbers and last also straight the 3 numbers. And middle, this one set and like this one set. So middle like a triangle shape. It's like a rhombus, similarly rhombus shape will come. Then according to that, you can take this data. So A is to B is to C is to D. Is 3 into 5 into 6. Is to 5 into 5 into 6. Next to 5, 6, 6. 5 into 6 into 6. Is to the last line is 5 into 6 into 11. In this you can do cancellations which is common 6 6 6 6 in all the ratios 6 is there again there is 5 also 5 5 5 and 5 the remaining is 3 is to 5 is to 6 is to 11 so you can do this method for any problem but in this case here B value here B value is same and C value 6 and a C value 6 is same. In that case, directly you will get write the answer also. The shortcut is directly you can write 3 is to 5 is to 6 is to 11. Because the values are equal here now. So that we can take in this way. Okay, this is the method for this. If they will give 4 ratios. Let us go for more sum. For example, the question is given like this 3p is equals to 5q and 6r is equals to 7q. Then find the ratio of p is to q is to r. So we are to frame the ratio first. So this is 3p is equals to 5q. So p by q is equals to 5 by 3 just to interchange q will be this side and 3 so 3 is multiplied if you take right side divide p by q is equal to 5 by 3 then p is to q is equals to 5 is to 3 similarly this also p q then q by r is r by q is equals to 7 by 6 so r is to q is 7 is to 6 but we need q is to r because you should take compulsory in the order and 6 is to 7 the rest of thing is same similar like a previous problem which i explained 5 is to 3 and 6 is to 7 write this 5 6 is 30 3, 6, 18, 
seven three zero twenty one. This order five six three six and three seven. Then you can cancel with the common table which is having. So three are divisible by three. Three tens are three six are three sevens. So ten is to six is to seven. Is the value for uh, p is to q is to r. Okay. Now, if the question is arised like this, for example, a by two is equals to b by three is equals to c by four. Then find the value of a is to b is to c. So, which if the there is no any other terms for the numerator except letters, then answer is directly you can take it as two is to three is to four. So, this is direct for shortcut. So, which is basis you can take directly. Even you can solve also similarly you'll get two is to three is to four. Actually, you should take two two. But the denominator itself, we can take it as the answer. If the question is like this. Now let's see one problem regarding the proportions. One by one twenty five is to one by x is equals to one by x is to one by five. So here. Numerator is all ones. Denominator is only we have the value. Then find the value of x. So we can product of the means and product of the extremes. So if the denominators are, numerators are only one, we can take directly denominators. Otherwise, one by x into one by x is equals to one by one twenty five into one by five. So one by x square is equals to one by one twenty five into five is six twenty five. From this, x square is equal to six twenty five. So x is equals to twenty five because twenty five twenty five is a six twenty five. So x is equal to square root of six twenty five. Therefore, x is twenty five. We'll find the x value. For example, if the denominators, numerators are different numbers, then also we can take. Now, if the question is similar question like this, for example, one by six, or uh, one by x is to three by eight is equals to twelve by or uh, eighteen is to one by x. So there is numerator and denominator. Fractions are given. Concept you can take same. Means and extremes. Product of the means is equal to a uh, product of the extremes. One by x into one by x is equals to three by eight into twelve by eighteen. So we can go for directly cancel here terms. Three ones are three six are six ones are six two are and two ones are two four are. Finally, one by x square is equals to one by four. Therefore, x square is equals to four. Then x is equal to square root of four. X is equals to two. So this is the value of x. Now let us see some proportion properties. So problems will come related to the proportionality properties also. That is mean proportion. Mean proportion, third proportion, and fourth proportion. Mean proportion or geometric mean, both are same terms. Geometric mean. And third proportion and fourth proportion. So first we'll see regarding this mean proportion. Zero point two and three point two. Find the mean proportion of 0.2 and 3.2. So mean proportion is square root of a into b. So if one is values a, if one is b, 
रूट ए बी इज द जोमेट्रिक मीन और मीन प्रपोर्शन दैट इज स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट टू इंटू थ्री पॉइंट टू थ्री पॉइंट टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर इज जीरो पॉइंट एट because 0.8 into 0.8 is 0.64 therefore geometric mean is a 0.8 then similarly questions may arise from third and fourth proportions also actually if a is to b is equals to c is to d then in this case a is the first proportion second third and fourth if one proportion is missed we can find out it uh, 25 30 40 so find the fourth proportion of 25 30 and 40 so fourth proportion is d then according to the formula b into c is equals to a into d so d is bc by a so you apply this therefore d is equals to this is a b c b into c by a is a fourth proportion so fourth proportion we can find out using this formula d is equal to bc by a so go for cancellations 5 is 25 5 is 6 5 is 5 8 so 48 is the fourth proportion and for third proportion if a b c are in third proportion then we can take b into b actually third proportion will come like this a is to b is equals to b is to c middle two are same so b into b no third proportion if you want to find out we can take that b square by a is equal to c because same from this formula only now find the third proportion of 36 and 48 36 48 if it is a b we need to find out the c value b square 48 into 48 by 36 4 9 0 5 8 6 7 8 9 So 16 for the 64. So 64 is a third proportion. So c is equals to b square by a. This formula for third proportion. So this formula you can use for third proportion, and d is equal to b c by a. That is for fourth proportion, and geometric mean is square root of a b. So these type of questions will come for. Uh, proportion types in third fourth the main proportion type okay now we'll see the word problems how will come from this uh, proportion ratio and proportion the number of the sum of two numbers the sum of two numbers is 72 then find the ratio which is belongs to it from the given so they will give the options you need to find out so which ratio uh, option a is 3 is to 4 b is 2 is to 3 c is 5 is to 7 and d is 4 is to 1 so they didn't give any other calculations sum of the two numbers is 72 then which ratio is exactly belongs to this 72 from this four 
so for this we need to apply sum of this both you know 3 plus 4 the simple thing is 72 by 3 plus 4 72 by 2 plus 3 72 by 5 plus 7 72 by 4 plus 1 just add the ratios and do uh, division with 72 72 by 7 so this is not perfectly divisible so you not take it 72 by 5 this also is not perfectly divisible 72 by 12 12 ones are 12 6 72 by 5 so this also not perfectly divisible so this is the correct answer so any questions will come like this we need to sum of the ratios you do and divide with so for the particular number then if you get perfectly divisible that is the answer similarly they asking one more question earlier exams there are twelve mirrors if it breaks by falling so if it breaks then find ratio which is not belong so 12 mirrors are there if they fall and they'll break then which ratio is does not belong for the following so options are 1 is to 2, B uh, 3 is to 1, 3 is to 4 and D is 5 is to 7. So your important condition is which is not belong the particular ratio. So given number is 12 right. So 12 by 1 plus 2, 12 by 3 plus 1. 12 by 3 plus 4 so from the options only we can confirm the answer so 12 divided by 3 this is perfectly divisible 12 divided by 4 this also perfectly divisible 12 divided by 5 we can't do division this 12 divided by 12 this also perfectly divisible because 3 ones are 3 uh, 4 so 4 ones are 4 3 so and 12 ones are so option is 3 is to 4 so with this particular ratio we can't get if they'll break okay such type of questions this one method let us see one more the ratio of two numbers the ratio of two numbers is 2 by 7 and difference of difference of them is 40 difference of them is 40 then find the sum of the numbers Then find the sum of the numbers. Yeah. So ratio of two numbers is 2 is to 7. Difference is 40. So direct simple method. Let me explain for this. Ratio is 2 by 7. So that is 2 is to 7, right? Then difference is 40. That means there is one two points and seven points. Difference is 40. So difference of this is 5 times. So 5p. But I am taking some 5 points. If it is 5 points that is 40. Then total is 9 points. Is how much? 
So it's in two steps you can write. Ratio is given this. Difference is 40. So difference of the ratio is 5. So for 5 numbers if you get 40. Then for 9 numbers how much you will get. Just I am taking like a points P. Nothing more. So 9 into 40 by 5. Cross multiplication. Divide by this. 5 ones are 5 eights are. So we can get this 72. So sum of the numbers is 72. For example, if they ask particular number separately, if they ask particular number separately means similarly, if it is 5 ratio is 40, then for 2 how much? For 5 points, if it is 40, then for 7 points is how much? So separate values is 2 into 40 by 5. 16 and the 7 into 40 by 5. 56. So 56, 16 again 72 will come. We can change in this way. Let's see the question. Word problem. One more. The sum is 6500 is divided into A, B, C. The sum rupees 6500 is divided to A, B and C. Three members. So two times of A, two times of A is equals to three times of B and which is equals to 4 times of C. So in this way they distributed. So 2 times to the A sum is exactly equal to 3 times to the B and 4 times to the C. Then find the C value. Find the amount of C. So find the amount of C you need to find out. Let us see this. The sum rupees 6500 is divided into A, B, C. And according to the condition, 2 times A is equals to 3 times B is equals to 4 times to the C. So we need to take A, B, C in numerator and numbers should be in denominator. So the shortcut is 2, 3, 4 if you take LCM. For example, for 2 and 3, 4 you will take LCM. The numbers 2, 1, 0, 2, 3, 2, 2, 0, 4. So 2 into 3 into 2. So 12 is the LCM. With this LCM we have to divide each. 2A is equals to 3B is equals to 4C. By 12 and by 12 and by 2 then that is a by 6 b by 4 is equals to c by 3 after cancellation 4 ones are 4 3 sir. 3 ones are 3 4 sir. and 2 ones are 2 6 sir. a by 6 is equal to b by 4 is equal to c by 3 so I can't the problem 6500 is divided into abc now total points are 6 plus 4 plus 3. So for 13 ratio is 6500. Then for C is 3. 
for only for three third time ratios how much three into six thousand five hundred by thirteen so thirteen one zero thirteen five the sixty five so zero zero that is fifteen hundred so fifteen hundred is the C amount amount for C so now in the in this problem instead of doing LCM and all the shortcut to divide the ratio of ABC is now see 2A is equals to 3B is equals to 4C this is a given if I want ABC ratio so when you are taking A ratio except A other two numbers you multiply that is 3 and 4 for B ratio except to B other numbers you multiply 2 into 4 for C ratio except to C other are 2 into 3 which one we need apart from that remaining numbers you multiply you can cancel it 2 1 2 2 2 2 2 zero. finally 3 2 zero, 6 4 and 3 yeah is exactly ratio for this okay. 6 is to 4 is to 3 at the same time 6 is to 4 is to 3 so don't go for LCM and all so directly you can go for the shortcut then afterwards the process is simple for 13.6500 for 3 points how much that is 1500 yeah, this is the simple technique for solving this problem Let's see one more uh, word problem. Now, the ratio of PQR, the sum is uh, divided. P Q R in the ratio two is to three is to five. Two is to three is to five and P and the amount of P and Q amount of P and Q is 4000 greater than Q amount of P and R sorry amount of P and R is rupees 400 more than Q rupees 4000 more than Q then find the amount of uh, R so R value you need to find out so this problem the sum is divided into PQR in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 the amount P and Q are P and R is 4000 more than Q okay 2 is to 3 is to 5 this is the ratio then according to condition P plus R is 400 more than Q so Q plus uh, sorry 4000 4000 more than Q then P plus R minus Q is equals to 4000 because from the sum of the PR, Q if we remove, the 4000 will come. But ratio of the PR is, this is PQR. Just to take, P plus R is 7, minus Q is 3. For this is 4000. That is 4. For 4 points, we are getting 4000. 
now see r value are find out the r is the 5 so for 5 points how much so you can take for 4 it is 4000 then 5 it is how much so 5 into 4000 by 4 cross multiplication that is 5000 so condition you should take sum of the PR minus Q is 4000 then the amount which is required uh, related to the R is uh, rupees 5000 okay. now let us go to the same ratio problems which are related to the fractions and some percentages I'll explain now ratio and proportions problems are related to the percentages Seven thousand two hundred is divided to PQR. Rupees seven thousand five hundred is divided to PQR and twenty five percent of P twenty five percent of P and 33 1 by 3 33 1 by 3 percent of Q then 50 percent of R are equal then find the sum for find the amount amount of R amount of Q will find out find the amount of Q ok let us see this 7500 is divided into PQR and condition is 25% of P so directly conditions you take that easily 25% of P is equal to 33 1 by 3 percent of Q is equals to 50 percent of R so once if you know get the ratios then problem is easy convert into fractions 25 by 100 into P 33 1 by 3 is 9900 100 by 3 100 by 3 percentage so into 1 by 100 into Q 50 percent 50 by 100 into R so if you remove the percentage you just to divide with 100 25 ones are 25 fours are. so this is P by 4 100 get cancel this is Q by 3 51s are 52s are this is r by 2 so ratios are directly we can take so p is to q is to r is equals to 4 is to 3 is to 2 then 4 plus 3 plus 2 9 for 9 it is the given sum is 7500 For 9 it is 7500, then for 3 how much? Because 3 is the Q. Just 3 into 7500 by 9. Then 9 table 7200, sorry. 7200 in the question. So 7200. So nine ones are nine eight hundred. So twenty four hundred is the amount of the Q. Only thing we need to find out the ratios by converting frac uh, percentages into fractions.
and one more okay one second now let us see the problems which are related to the coins currency from the ration proportions it's more uh, very important problems so most of the exams the last which are related to the currency problems so in a box there are 1 rupee 50 and 25 paisa coins in one box there are rupees 1 comma 50 paisa and 25 paisa coins are in the ratio Two is to three is to four. So coins ratio is two is to three is to four, and total value of coins is rupees one eighty. Then find the number of 25 paisa coins so important problems is all in one box there are 1 rupee 50 paisa 25 paisa coins are in the ratio so we need to solve this problem with coins ratio and value ratio so first to coins ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 4 right coins ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 4 from this you have to convert into the value because they gave value here rupees 180 is the total coins value so we need to convert into the values but this is first two ratio is related to the rupees now this is rupees and second and third in the paisa so ratio always should be in the same units so just to multiply with 100 and this is multiplied with 50 it multiplied with 25 so everything will convert into the number of paisa so 2 in 200 150 and 100 now this is the value ratio first one is coins ratio it's the value ratio 0 0 0 5 2 0 5 3 0 5 4 0 so 4 is to 3 is to 2 is the value ratio then 3 2 3 4 is the coins ratio just coins ratio to value ratio you have to convert if it is rupees into 100 50 paisa into 50 25 paisa is 25 now according to the problem the sum cost is 180 that is 4 plus 3 plus 2 4 plus 3 plus 2 for 9 points if it is 180 then for 2 how much because 2 is 25 paisa we are asking number of 25 paisa points so 2 into 180 by 9 20 is a that is 40 now rupees 40 because value we got rupees value so 25 paisa coins value is rupees 40 then number of coins number of 20 paisa coins is total 40 rupees right 14 to 4 because every 1 rupee there are 425 pence. so 160 coins <coughs> 25 paisa coins are 160 let me explain similar problem which is value ratio is given in coins ratio you have to find out see in this in a box there are 1 rupee 50 and 25 pence coins number of coins is 465 number of rupees 1 <coughs> 
50 paisa and 25 paisa coins are 465 so there are 465 coins which are 1 rupee 15 25 and value value ratio is 5 to 3 is to 1 value ratio is 5 to 3 is to 1 then find the number of 20 paisa coins and value number of 25 paisa coins and value also so in this problem they give number of coins previous problem they gave the total cost of the coins so what we can take first we'll take the value ratio value ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 1 5 is to 3 is to 1 because 5 is the 1 rupees 3 is 50 paisa 1 is of 25 paisa so value 2 we have to convert into coins ratio coins ratio of number of 5 rupees coins into 1 3 into 2 1 into 4 because value ratio is given 25 paisa 1 means we will get for coins 4 for out of rupees if you take no coins ratio is 5 is to 6 is to 4 so coins to value will multiply the number of uh, paisa and value to coins will multiply account that number of uh, coins will come for rupee now there are you now for example uh, 5 is for rupees 3 is for 50 paisa 25 paisa 25 paisa there are 2 are there so in 2 rupees that means you will get 2 into 4 8 coins it is only 1 means 1 into 4 is 4 coins then the problem is they give a number of coins are 465 coins ratio is this so 5 plus 6 plus 4 for 15 coins 15 points 465 then they are asking 25 paisa right 25 paisa is 4 for 4 how much 4 into 465 by 15 so if we calculate this we will get one ok 5 table Five nine zero forty five forty ninety three again three one zero three thirty one zero so one twenty four coins this is twenty five paisa coins if there are one twenty four twenty five paisa coins then value is one twenty four into one by four divide by four because number of twenty five paisa coins are one twenty four into 1 by 4 is will get a uh, value of this so rupees 31 is the value of 25 paisa coins <coughs> so we need to convert into value or coins ratios according to the given data and in the same type of problems the ratio of the milk and water type of questions also will come I will explain now The ratio of milk and water of 60 liters is 2 is to 1. The ratio of milk and water in 60 liters is 2 is to 1. So combination of milk and water, the ratio is 2 is to 1. Then, how much amount of water if you mix? 
always how many liters how many liters of water if we mix then it turns 1 is to 2 So here the ratio of the milk and water in 60 liters is 2 is to 1. So 2 is to 1 is present. That is 60 liters if we divide into 2 is to 1 we will get 40 and 20 right. Milk and water. 2 is to 1. So 60 if we divide that is 40 and 20 in the ratio of 2 is to 1. You can solve also like previous. 2 is to 1 ratio you have to divide that 60. Now 40 and 20 is the present. Then how many liters of water? If you add, then it uh, if you mix, then it turns to 1 is to 2. So how many liters I should add that I am taking some x plus x. Then it turns to 1 is to 2. Okay, this if you can make in sentence form. 40 is to 20 plus x because only for water I should add it turns to 1 is to 2 yeah means is equal to extremes 20 plus x into 1 is equals to 40 into 2 so 20 plus x is 80 then x is equal to 60 so extra 60 liters of water if you add in that will turns to the 1 is to 2. So this is the problem which is related to the mixing of water and milks. And similarly the most important one last problem the important uh, shortcut method I'll tell you for last. Your rest of things are easy. Okay let us see one more. The cost of 5 sofas equals to 15 tables. So this is the sh shortcut method to explain this last problem which is important. Cost of 5 sofas is equal to 15 tables. and cost of 10 tables equals to 25 inches twenty five benches and fifteen bench cost is thirty chairs and fifteen benches cost is 30 chairs and 2 chairs cost is rupees 300 then find the sofa cost Yeah. So don't get confused. I'll explain simple shortcut method for this. Cost of 5 sofas is equal to 15 tables. So we'll write like term 1, term 2. Here 5 sofas cost is 15 tables. 10 tables cost is 25 benches 15 benches cost is 30 
chairs. Two chairs cost is rupees three hundred. So we need to find out one sofa cost. So if we calculate from the downwards, it takes more time because two chairs is three hundred is. For example, two chairs is three hundred. So one chair is one uh, fifty. Then you have to find out thirty chairs cost. That should be equal to fifteen benches. Again, one bench cost you have to make equal to ten chairs. So instead of this much time. And let me explain simple technique for this logic shortcut. If you want one sofa is equals to second term divided by first term because sofa is the first place, so we need to take multiply everything. That is fifteen into. Twenty-five into thirty into three hundred by five into ten into fifteen into two. Simplify this. Fifteen, fifteen. Ten ones are ten threes are five twos are ten thirty. So twenty-five into three into thirty. Two thousand two fifty. Thirteen two three nine hundred. Two thousand two fifty. This is one sofa cost. For example, if they ask the one table cost, cost of one table. So table is the at third place. In second downwards, second third, fourth places. Table cost is no table data only from this. This for table data. So this we can take second terms by first term. That is twenty five into thirty into three hundred by fifteen into or ten into two. Just multiply. Ones are fifteen, twos are zero. Two table, thirteen to twenty-five. Twenty-five threes are seven fifty. So seven fifty rupees is one table. If they ask one bench, cost of uh, one bench cost. One bench is equals to bench data is only from second, uh, third to fourth, right? That we can take. That is thirty into three hundred by fifteen into two. Fifteen ones are fifteen twos are two to get cancel three hundred. So one bench cost is rupees three hundred. So a simple method we can solve like these problems. If they will give the data in this format, this for ratio and proportion instead of taking total everything. Okay, friends, I hope you understood everything. So the main thing you need to subscribe this channel because if you did not subscribe it, you please do subscribe because in this channel completely I'll upload only which is the problems that related to the aptitude, quantity aptitude, and all other subjects. And if you want to see other, so actually all the problems I couldn't say in here. See uh, more problems and more different methods. Methods are same. If you want to see uh, more problems, which are related to the assignment as well as, come to the website www.foundationforiit.com and see the channel also for more updates. Okay, in this uh, website, from sixth to twelfth class, regarding all the subjects which is related to math, science, all the aptitude questions are there. So go through the website and it's completely free of cost. So first of all, uh, like and share this, and share it to your friends. Those who are required for all the aptitudes problems. Like this uh, video and at the same time, please do subscribe. I hope you understood everything and be in touch. So thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.